chair recognizes Representative Moss. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today as well to stand against and vote against uh, House Bill 4122. Back in July of last year, Detroit Kids City, a place center for kids located in my hometown, Southfield, made headlines around Michigan because they had some unexpected customers. A two-year-old named Samuel came to play and dragged his parents along with him, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner. Affleck was in town, of course, filming Batman vs. Superman, which was one of the largest movie productions last year, filmed right here in Michigan with a reported budget of $131 million. In a free press report, a Detroit Kids City employee said that Affleck and his family had a blast and would be contacting them about getting a Detroit Kids City out to L.A. Now, Affleck and Garner weren't the only uh, Hollywood celebrities who visited this kid play spot in Southfield. Mark Wahlberg and, his, Wah Wahlberg and his family visited Detroit Kid City in 2013 while he was filming the Transformer movie in Michigan. And during that filming, Wahlberg went on national television to say that Detroit is not what people think. It's amazing. Detroit is a great, great city. Now, Mr. Speaker, I don't need Hollywood celebrities to validate what we in this chamber already know, that Detroit is a great city, that Southfield is a great city, and I'm sure everybody in this chamber already knows that, uh, and that Michigan is worth visiting. But there's no doubt that sometimes the microphones on which they speak reach further than the microphones on which we speak. Now, you've heard the facts from the previous speaker and figures about the verifiable economic benefit that the Film Incentive Program has had here in Michigan. But the buzz, the excitement, the rebranding of Metro Detroit and Michigan as a worthwhile point of destination and not just a point on the map is something that even pure Michigan can't do. This point is key. The most pressing problem that we're going to tackle here in this legislature is how do we grow our population, as Michigan was the only state in the country in the last census that faced population loss. That solution to that problem includes retaining the creative talent that we have here now and attracting young talent to plant their roots here in Michigan. Michigan's Film Incentive Program is part of that solution and provides opportunities to recent graduates to pursue their creative careers as production crew or in post-production and animation. These jobs are highly sought after, well-paid, and individually rewarding positions. The film incentives combat the negative perception that Michigan's sluggish economy lacks exciting job opportunities for young professionals. Now, I don't believe in that perception, but I stayed here. Many of my peers who grew up here haven't stayed. We need to reach the creative talent that left Michigan or are bypassing Michigan, and Michigan's film industry is doing just that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.